actually very grateful to God Almighty for giving me the opportunity to be appointed at the 30th General Officer Commanding of 82 Division. I thank my boss, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tauri Lagbaja, for having that confidence in me to be a given this onerous task of ensuring and restoring peace and improving the security in the five southeastern states and cross river states. Your Excellency, it is customary when you take over a new command, you appraise yourself with the environment and uh, the people, the stakeholders in that environment so that you will learn from them. Uh, this popular say, follow the person that knows the road. So it's in that uh, wise that having taken over for about a month now, yes, we've met unofficially. My task will not be easy without meeting the Chief Security of the States. And Your Excellency, that's why I felt it necessary that I needed to come around and uh, pay my uh, uh, my do my familiarization visit to your office and know what are the issues that we need to sort out to see how I can implement the mandate that has been handed over to me by the Chief of Army Staff, Captain General Tari Lagbaja Niger Army Medal. So I'm not unaware of the numerous support the state has been extending to the Nigerian Army and in particular it is to Division Nigerian Army. I want to also use this opportunity to appreciate you, appreciate the good people of Enugu for the support and we can only succeed if we all work together. So it's also one of the reasons why I'm here. Uh, the government of Enugu states shared by you or led by you have been doing so much to make sure all the security agencies and the services work together. It is also my desire and it's also the mandate that we handed over to me to ensure I continue with that synergy and improve on it. So Your Excellency, I know there are some challenges that have been happening or that we have in Enugu State, so also with other southeastern states. But uh, I want to believe why we discussed earlier, there is no doubt there is an improvement over the last two, three weeks. And I can only assure you, sir, with the support of my boss, the Chief of Army Staff, the Chief of Defense Staff, that things we all can only get better. So it's on this note, I just felt me and my team, we should just come and familiarize ourselves with you and seek for your further support and that of the good people of Enugu State as well as the traditional rulers so that peace will be returned together, we can return peace to the state and other southeastern states. And I believe, I have no doubt from the interaction we've had up to now, that that will be done. On this note, I say thank you and God bless everybody. Thank you. Immense uh, gratitude for the support, dedication, and commitment we have continued to receive from the military, particularly the army, in our quest to secure a new state and to have a peace and secure a new uh, state. As you know, when we were campaigning, we told our people that we were going to grow this economy in an unprecedented manner. And we assured them that that growth is going to come from private sector investment. And one thing that is key is that the private sector 
investment will not happen if we do not have peace and security. So which is why when we took over, we immediately identified the challenges of insecurity as the big elephant in the room. We also recognized that the continual Mondays uh, sit at home was not only creating this perception of insecurity in our region, but that it was doing so much damage to our psychology as a people, our social well-being, and our economy. So we moved against it. We made a pronouncement to put an end to the Monday's uh, sit at home. I also want to put on record that we've uh, enjoyed tremendous support, not only getting the various security agencies to buy into this end to see that one, but in practice, getting them to deploy enough security to ensure that there is protection of lives and property, particularly with respect to the enforcers of these uh, illegal Mondays uh, and other days for that matter, see that one. So we want to thank you because the sort of dedication and commitment we have witnessed in you, and we must also, by extension, express our profound gratitude to the Chief of Army Staff, because uh, I'm sure he must have uh, taken his time to, to select and to bring you to this region at this auspicious uh, time. Just sitting back and uh, listening to your intimidating uh, uh, CV, I, I have no doubt that it was not by error or by mistake that you were brought here. Because your profile and your experience precede you. One can see from your track records that you are, you know, well picked for this role at this time. So we thank the chief uh, immensely for, for this support and for making sure that uh, we're having a man of your profile and experience working with us to solve these our insecurity challenges. We are also very grateful because uh, what you have done over the period that you have been here is there for everyone to see. We can see that um, not only that we have been able to escort these uh, big elephants out of our state, but we, I mean, I'm referring to the sit at home uh, big elephant. We've been able to get that elephant out of our state, but we are also enjoying a relative peaceful and secure environment in our state today. And we know, and I'm sure you also know very well, that we cannot afford to take that for granted. We cannot, at this point, rest on our glass. We cannot uh, assume that these uh, opportunistic uh, foe will just sit back and relax. You know that their modus operandi is for them to look for any, any opportunity to strike. And once they have successfully struck, they now go to the social media and start terrorizing our people. So whether that success is real or imaginary, it is so magnified in social media space that we now have to also not just contend on the fiscal and security challenges, we're also now dealing with some of these terrorists operating 
in the various social media uh, spaces. So we are going to urge you and then join you and, the, and your team to remain vigilant because uh, it is not yet time for Uru. We're still, uh, we're still at our, our highest alert level until we are we're completely sure that these guys are nowhere close to our city. And we believe with, the, with what we have seen so far that you have the character and the competence to bring that to bear. So we, we thank you so much for all that you're doing, all that you continue to do. We want to, on our part, assure you that as government, we are going to continue to collaborate with you and other security agencies to ensure that we maintain this uh, peace that we're enjoying and other states in the southeast. We believe that you cannot have sustainable development without peace and security. You can also not have peace and security without uh, sustainable development. So the two are mutually reinforcing. And that's why if we're going to grow our economy from the current levels to the 30 billion level we we're going to eradicate poverty, create employment for our people. We need peace because we need investors to come. So on that note, I uh, want to once again uh, say welcome to you and to assure you of our collaboration. And we look forward to a close partnership with uh, the military, the army in particular. Thank you and God bless.